SR700. Unpacking. Check that the packaging contains fan unit SR700, battery, battery charger, belt, particle filter SR510 P3R, filter adapters, pre-filter holders, pre-filters SR221, flow meter, user instruction, cleaning tissue, plug kit, Assembling the fan unit, battery. Remove the battery. Check that the gasket around the charge contact in the fan unit is in place and is in good condition. Attach the plug to the AC adapter and attach the battery. The charger carries out charging automatically in three stages. One, orange LED, two, yellow LED, three, green LED. Push the battery back into the battery compartment. Assembly belt. Insert the three tongues of the belt off into the slot in the fan unit. Correctly mounted belt. Particle filter. Check that the gaskets in the filter mounting of the fan unit are in place and in good condition. Snap the filter onto the filter adapter. Do not press into the center of the filter. It might damage the filter paper. Screw the adapter into the filter mounting. Then turn it about 1 8 turn further. Fit pre-filter in the pre-filter holder. Press the pre-filter holder onto the particle filter. Correctly mounted pre-filter holder with particle filter. Operation performance. Start the fan by pressing the control button. The symbols on the display will light up and the sound signal will sound. The fan starts in normal operating status, 175 liter per minute. If the button is pressed again, the flow will increase to 225 liter per minute. And this is indicated by the large fan symbol lighting up. Warning system, alarm signals. In the event of airflow obstructions, a pulsating sound signal will be heard. The red warning triangle of the display will flash. Action. Immediately interrupt the work. Leave the area and inspect the equipment. If the particle filters are clogged, a continuous sound signal will be heard for five seconds. The red warning triangle in the display will flash. The warning triangle will flash continuously, whereas the sound signal will be repeated at intervals of 80 seconds. Action. Immediately interrupt the work. Leave the area and change the filter. If the battery capacity is lower than 
a sound signal will be repeated twice at intervals of two seconds. The yellow battery symbol of the display will flash. The battery symbol will flash continuously, whereas the other signals are repeated at intervals of 30 seconds until about one minute remains before the battery would be fully discharged. The sound signal then changes to an intermittent signal. Action. Immediately interrupt the work, leave the area and change charge the battery. Performance check. Minimum flow. Connect the hose from the head top to the fan and turn it about one eighth of a turn clockwise. Place the head top in the flow meter bag and start the fan unit. Grip the lower part of the bag in order to seal around the hose. Grip around the measuring tube and hold the tube vertical. The ball should now hover in a level with or just over the 175 liter per minute marking. If the minimum flow is not achieved, check that the flow meter is vertical. The ball moves freely. The bag seals well around the hose. Performance check. Alarms. The equipment is designed to provide a warning if the air flow is obstructed. And this should be checked in conjunction with the flow. Check before the equipment is taken into use. Cause of flow stoppage by still holding tightly the joint between the hose and the flow meter bag and then blocking off the flow meter outlet. The fan will now initiate an alarm by audible and visual signals. If the flow meter outlet is now unblocked and the air is allowed to flow freely, the alarm signals will cease within 10 to 15 seconds. Switch off the fan and remove the head top from the flow meter bag. Visual inspection. Check that the fan unit is complete, correctly mounted, thoroughly cleaned and undamaged. Putting the equipment on. Before putting the equipment on, read carefully the user instructions for the head top. After the filter has been fitted, a performance check has been carried out and the head top has been connected. The equipment can be put on. Snap the two ends of the belt together. Tighten the belt so that it is comfortable. The fan should be firmly in contact with the wearer's back in order to ensure optimum comfort and ergonomic benefits. Change the particle filters. Both filters must be changed at the same time. Unscrew the filters. Remove the pre-filter holders. Remove the filter adapter from SR510. Change the pre-filters in its holders. Fit new particle and pre-filters.
Change the gasket in the fan unit. Remove the particle filter and the old gasket. Fit the new gasket onto the flange. Check that the gasket is in place all round. Cleaning Disinfection The plug kit is used for cleaning or decontamination of the fan unit and prevents dirt and water from entering the fan housing. Disconnect the breathing hose and the filters and install the plugs. For daily care, use Sundström's cleaning tissue, SR5226. In the event of heavy fouling, a soft brush or a sponge wetted with a solution of water and dishwashing detergent can be used. If necessary, spray the product with 70% ethanol or isopropanol solution for disinfection. Storage After cleaning, Store the equipment in a clean and dry place at room temperature. Avoid exposing it to direct sunlight or other heat sources. The flow meter can be turned inside out and can be used as a storage bag for the head top and the fan unit. An alternative to storage is our SR505 storage bag.